know what I realized yesterday? That. It's our 10 year anniversary. Off leash canine training. I remember that first client. We signed up. I'll never forget them. Uh, Rachel was her name. Her and her husband. And I remember when they signed up, I'm like, they paid me to train their dogs. And that was the craziest thing to me. I never imagined what we would build this thing into over the next 10 years. And the amount of dogs we've been able to help. The amount of families we've been able to help. And so 10 years for off leash canine training in Hampton Roads. The backyard. The dogs. Moving to the new house. And the facility in the backyard. And the Kittle building now to locations across the country and trainers across the country and boarding and daycare businesses and a mastermind and coaching group and a media group. Back to the Big Dog Podcast. What's up, son? What up? You know what I realized yesterday? What's that? It's our 10 year anniversary. Off leash canine training. Mm. How dope is that? That's nuts. It's really nuts. Doesn't feel like 10 years. No, it doesn't. 10 years. January of 2014. Do you hear that little rattle in your headset? Yeah, it's the AC. It's the air conditioning. Guys, if you hear it on your end, I apologize. We work really hard to make the sound quality and video quality really high standard. But your boy also gets really hot, so I got to keep that AC pumping. And apparently in here, we pick up a little rattle on the mics. So good mics. Maybe you don't hear it, but I hear it in my ears. And it's a little distracting. But nonetheless, we're going to move forward because we're professionals. We've been doing this for a little bit. This is like episode 90-something, I think. We're getting close to 100, which is wild. 10 years. 10 years. I can't believe it snuck up on me. Because I am a really, I'm a big anniversary person. Like I'm big on knowing dates and anniversaries. Like that's important to me. I pride myself on that. I often have to remind Mrs. Wilson of our, um, how many years we've been married. She doesn't forget the date. But to say she hasn't had the year wrong in the past would be a lie. Because she may have, I love you, babe, but. We we know this is, we only spit the truth here on the Big Dog Podcast. And that is true. I'm more the one who's dialed in on a milestones and things like that. But this one did surprise me. As I'm doing end of year closeout for 2023 and I'm looking at 24 and planning and projections and what do I want to accomplish in the business? What do I want to accomplish for me personally? Where are areas of growth for the companies? Areas of growth for me? Areas of growth and targets that I have for staff? You know, you included in that. Think about all these things and planning all these things. And Monday or Tuesday, I'm on a, a Zoom call and it occurs to me, this is our 10-year anniversary. So I got to do something cool and I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do something dope. I'm going to give away something. I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to announce it uh, next week on the podcast or the end of January. We'll do it at the end of January. We'll announce it to be something dope, to be something big, big time, big, big, 10 years. That's a really big freaking deal. Whole decade. Some would say. Some. Some. You did. Most. Most would say. Okay. Most. <laughs> uh, like, I'm proud of that. I'm really, really proud of that. It's crazy to me. I think it, it's had me thinking the last couple of days, all the relationships that have been formed, all the relationships that have been lost, uh, the changes that we've had in the company, the wins, the L's particularly. I'm just so damn proud of what we've built in the last 10 years. 10 years ago, literally training dogs out of my backyard and front yard. First lessons I ever did with clients were, um, it was snowy and we had the garage cleared out so that we could do, uh, lessons inside the garage. I had a little space heater in the corner to keep us warm and, um, it <laughs> freaking brutal. Uh, I remember they had a lesson. This was like three weeks in and we were doing heel and it had stormed and there was just snow and ice everywhere. And they still made it out to the lesson, to the house to do the lesson. And I remember being out there, man, it was like 20 some odd degrees and it was so freaking cold. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out and work on heel. And I went and taught heel. And then we'd come in and practice in the garage. I'd go out and work heel again. We'd come in, warm up, practice in the garage and go back out and do it again. And I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy. And 
I remember that first client who signed up. I'll never forget him. Uh, Rachel was her name, her and her husband, and they had two dogs that we trained. And, you know, they signed up for training with us. And I remember when they signed up, I'm like, they paid me to train their dogs. And that was the craziest thing to me. I don't know why it was. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy to me. You know, at the time I was still working, you know, running the church, um, you know, the admin side of the church over at Water's Edge. And, you know, we, I was going to train the dogs on the side. And that was the plan, to make a couple extra bucks on the side, give myself a little bit of a stress release and hobby, spend time with the dogs, help me relax. Yeah, I never imagined what we would build this thing into over the next 10 years. Back then, I couldn't imagine that. Now, in the last couple of years, I think we've gotten a lot more strategic and intentional with what this could become or can become and other avenues that we've started to explore um, within the industry and outside of it, for that matter. Early on, I could have never imagined what we've done so far and the amount of dogs we've been able to help, the amount of families we've been able to help. And so 10 years for off-leash canine training in Hampton Roads, the backyard, the dogs, moving to the new house and the facility in the backyard and the kennel building that we had built and put in and all it. Now to locations across the country and trainers across the country and boarding and daycare businesses and a mastermind and coaching group and a media group and it's wild. 10 years is over half the time I've been alive. 10 years is over half the time you've been alive. He's my smart one, ladies and gentlemen. He, you know. It just doesn't feel like half my, like, over no. half my life has been with Off Leash because I remember, like, Water's Edge and, like, being there all yeah. the time and doing stuff. Yeah, but, and you've always been involved, like, you and your sister, too. Like, when, when we first started, you always been hype and excited about it and wanting to be around the dogs and, and the facilities and stuff. Kiki was pretty excited early on with it, and she's gotten older, her interests are just different. But we've built something that a lot of people want to be a part of. And probably the most remarkable thing to me and the proudest thing to me is that we've built something that you want to be a part of. You know, something that you, my son, want to be a part of is just remarkable to me. Not surprising to me that others want to be a part of it. It blows my mind, though, that you want to be a part of it. Just because you've seen the good and the bad of me here around me all the time, you know I'm a total prick. And you're like, oh, I'll come work with you, I guess. You know, and it wasn't like that at all. You've made this decision a couple of years ago that that's what was on your heart and what you wanted to do. And, um, yeah, we're going to come back and do a part two of this show. I'm not emotionally or mentally prepared to talk about 10 years today. I thought that I was. And so I'm sorry this is going to be a little bit of a short episode, maybe a little bit weird. But um, I don't care. It's my show, so I can do what I want to do. Uh, but I do apologize. Yeah, I don't want to be emotional, and I want to be able to talk and give it a lot of value because I do think 10 years is special for a business, and I truly do believe what we've done has been special. And so I want to honor that this month with a couple other episodes and get some people in here that we need to celebrate this with. And so we're going to do that. So we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll have some episodes coming up over the next couple of weeks that are be really fun. We're going to celebrate these 10 years and actually each month we are going to celebrate this 10 year with at least one episode each month, uh, whether it's a throwback to an early episode, whether it's um, bringing back in a guest, a favorite guest who was really popular on the show or bringing in somebody to interview and talk to who's played a huge role in the last 10 years. So it's going to be fun. I, I, I want to put some more thought into it, though. Uh, my brain is just going a little bit crazy, and I'm a bounce. I love you all. appreciate you. We're going to catch you next time on the Big Dog Podcast. It'll be great. It'll be worth the time. Bye, guys. Bye.